Welcome to the ITU studio, the World Radio Communication Conference 2023, WRC 23 in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates. And I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio by Foju Perez, who is an academic observer with the Cameroon delegation. Foju, welcome to the studio. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here. Now tell me a little bit about uh, you being here, uh, your presence here. You're one of the youngest uh, members here of uh, all the delegations, I believe. Um, tell us a little bit about your experiences here and, and why you've come. I am an academic observer for the delegation of Cameroon. And the experience generally has been very good because it's my very first time in Dubai. And not just the buildings, but the people, the Emirates and their, their hospitality, no, I most appreciate it. it's top notch. Now, you trained uh, as an engineer, is that right? Yeah, a uh, radio communication engineer. Okay, and uh, what made you decide to, to go into that field? Just the passion, and when I look around ITs and everything about communication, I just saw that with my research, at the long run, the base of communication, it's radio. So that just pushed me to go, because if we don't start with radio, the other parts wouldn't breathe. So I just had to start there. And it gets to parts that, uh, that other communications uh, necessarily can't reach. In principle, I wanted to ask you about the conference itself. This is the World Radio Communication Conference. It's a, it's a, uh, a very important conference in the ITU calendar. But why is it important for Cameroon, do you think? For Cameroon personally, I, I think a, a lot will do more on spectrum management because this is not just an ordinary ITU or radio communication conference, but one of the most important because most bands in Cameroon, especially for mobile, now satellite communication is coming also into play for us and to see how to manage all that spectrum and already the problem we have with pollution between Cameroon and its neighbors. So I think spectrum management is one of the vital things which Cameroon is focused at looking at, at this conference. And how did you get to uh, be a part of the Cameroon delegation? Was it, uh, did, you, did you have to go through a selection process? Was it, was it difficult to, to get, get to here, to get to Dubai? Yeah, it's a, I would say it's really challenging because you don't just get up one day and you decide to start following the activities of the conference. I have been following the activities of ITU for like two years now. Been going through, attending meetings online before and even before my focal point validated my travel, I was called for an interview at 7 30 in the morning, just on phone. <laughs> that's a, Which was quite a, surprising because I wasn't expecting it. Exactly. And it's an early time for a young person anyway, I think, at 7.30 yeah. so, a.m. So I think it's very competitive. I wanted to ask you, you're here as an academic observer. What do you think you will be taking back with you to Cameroon at the end of this? Not just the experience, but also getting to meet experts. Like the day this hall was mounted, before the radio communication assembly started, I was here and I learned a few things from the experts who are installing everything here. Already that's a plus for me. Also meeting, creating networks with people who are senior to me in the field, it's already another good plus. And just the interactions, the whole general experience and the feeling is just good. And for me in my radio communication career, I think it sets, it sets a very good base. Well, I'm sure it will. And uh, thank you very much for joining us in the studio. And I'm sure we'll get to catch up with you at some stage in the not too distant future. It's my pleasure. Thanks very much indeed. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And if you've enjoyed this interview, then do check out our other interviews on the ITU YouTube channel, as well as our podcasts on SoundCloud or wherever you get your podcasts from. And for further information, why don't you visit our website at www.itu.int. Thanks for tuning in.